Ow. Ow. Ah, we're back. We're back in Brazil. Back in Brazil. Come to Brazil. Da, 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 da. Come to Brazil. <laughs> <laughs> Hola, and welcome to The Cup, the currently unnamed podcast where we put the real and the tea in reality. And you can always come to us first to quench your thirst. I'm Logan Murphy. Say something gay. Gay. Um, I am finishing up my coffee from uh, earlier today um, with my homemade pumpkin cinnamon vanilla coffee creamer. It's very delicious. Um, and if I was having any smaller uh, quantity of coffee, of course it would be in my cup mug. Really? But today she's just here as a decorative piece. Oh, Logan, could you pass me? I don't seem to yes, know where my love is. Yes, I got you. Here you go. Thank you. I got hey. one. I got one. Here, take it back. Take it back. Take it back. Yes. <laughs> oh, thank you. That was seamless. That was very good. We did that. Okay, work. <laughs> <laughs> but hello, hello. What's up, Linda? I am Lana. Your resident diva. I mean, well, I guess Resident Evil Diva, if you want to call me that. Sure. 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 But I am here to give the tea, spill the tea, and drink that tea because you know I love me some tea per. And if you have some tea, you know what to do. Hit me up. Um, I am just drinking water today because hydration is important and water gives you clear skin, and I have some pimples going up, so I need to go and clear the skin up right away, because it's bugging me. But yeah, I'm not drinking it out of my cup mug, but it can be my cup mug holder. You know what? Today, it's going to be my glasses holder. Period. I'm not wearing my glasses today, so... Because, you know, here we go, because sometimes... It can be the holder. It's versatile. It does exactly. other things. It's not just a cup. It's not just a mug. It's versatile. It can be a holder. And it's dishwasher safe. And we do ship internationally and domestically. So guess what? There are no excuses. And I'm looking at you, Brazil. I'm looking at you. And I'm looking at all you Brazilians in the States who are checking us out and excited that we're doing reviews about Brazil in the States because you don't see that often. I'm looking at you. Get your cup mug and all of your official cup merch at lanagscreations.etsy.com, which will be in the description below. Check it out. Woo! Woo! We are back. It is episode eight of Drag Race Brazil. We are officially two thirds of the way through this season of Drag Race Brazil. Yep. I really enjoyed this episode. Me too. We've Me been too, saying it actually. since the start. We've been saying it since the start, or at least I have. Mm -hmm. Brazil started, and it's been a slow burn, and now we're getting to where mm -hmm. I am. Oh, I'm. Oh, it's so good. This ball, the ball, the ball. two two balls this week internationally. Balls, balls and balls, love it. I think it's just two. I think it's just two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah, Germany just and sure. Brazil. Yeah. yeah. Which go watch our it. review of Drag Race Germany. Yeah, I we wasn't there, so I gotta go watch it myself. <laughs> I was there, and there's a lot of surprises. Oh, okay. Weirdly enough, um, random special effects. That's all I'll say on the matter. But uh, oh. David, even I were thrilled. <laughs> One of the wildest episodes we filmed in a while, but, uh, for yeah, all the good right. reasons. For all the good reasons, mm -hmm. two yeah. hours of fun. Ah, I can't wait to watch it in two days because I'm only gonna watch or in it or in or in portions and very much in portions. Yeah, but we are back. It is episode eight. It is the ball. We are coming back into the workroom after. Oh God, who went home last week? No, I'm this. Oh no, <gasps> I feel bad. Oh, I feel really bad. No, oh you Dallas to Phil. Oh you Dallas say, to Phil. No, you not. No, I thought. Okay, no. Here's why. I remember Dallas had been eliminated. I thought there had been another week. It feels like so much long ago. So like so long ago. Also, I do want to address commenters. 
we understand that we were given some misinformation regarding the Greg of the Queen variety. Now we get it. We understand. Yes. We were given we were given some tea that at the time may have been accurate to some degree. And in this moment now, as we are talking to you, it is not. So we acknowledge that David's not here this week, but we will be acknowledging it on behalf of David. However, comma. Yes. Some of y'all coming into our comment section talking about fake news and all that stuff and blah 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 and trying to trying to trying to go that direction with things. No, please don't. We are here, we are trying to learn about this like everybody else is. So at the end of the day, like we are learning, we may get stuff wrong at times. Constructive criticism is appreciated. But when it comes to just straight up disrespectful comments, I'll go ahead and say it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, it's not, and it's not everyone. And we do appreciate the people that were very constructive being like, this is not the tea. Here's the tea. We do really appreciate those people. There are just a couple people coming in saying some comments that are just not great. So right. it's not everybody. But for those of you that did say, hey, that's not the tea. Here's the actual tea. Just so y'all know, we do appreciate you all. So mm. just want a blanket statement there. But yes, Dallas is, uh, is gone, unfortunately. I'm sad. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm sad about Dallas leaving. Apparently some of the girls are not that sad about Dallas leaving. Um. Or Gonza yeah. sure isn't. Well, she sure is not. But see, I'm, here's uh, the thing. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Oh no, you go ahead. I must say, I I get both sides of the coin, if it makes mm -hmm. sense. I can understand why she's not sad. If her and Dallas weren't close, and if her and Dallas she didn't sometimes when you don't feel somebody should be there, even though that's not your right to say if somebody should be there or not because you didn't have it. But you know, if you kind of feel like somebody is not up to par or doing their, you know, the best or whatever, you could be a little like, yeah, that's not, yeah, my girl, I don't care. It is a competition. So yeah, you kind of want everybody to go. So bye. Mm -hmm. But on the flip side, I'm like, girl, you ain't gotta be like that though. That's what I was gonna say. I was like, "Ooh, the oh, the way they edited Organza here." And I mean, at the end of the day, she said it. Mm -hmm. She said what she said. She said what she said. But I was just like, "Oh, girl, this doesn't make you look good." I'm, but see, that's the thing. Everybody keeps saying that don't make you look good. Maybe she don't want to look good. Maybe she uh, very good true. Good. Maybe she want to be that villain. And it's like, I don't really care what y'all think. I'm going to say what I want to say. And I don't really care. And that's valid and fair. And that's fair. And, but I'm like, if she was trying to worry about how people would react to her or not, that ain't the way to go. That's not a good look. But if that's how she feel, who are we to tone police her? You know? Yeah. Mm. No, I definitely agree with you. And I'm not trying to tone police her. I'm just saying, like, the edits... Mm -hmm. More than anything, mm -hmm. it feels like more like the edit this episode was a little bit like more skewed against Organza than it has been. Yeah, throughout they the season, I feel like they're definitely taking the villain arc and pr proudly showing that for her. Like she is the one; she is the shady queen. She is the villain queen. We go give her yeah. that, and if she wants, sure. to, but see what I don't like is when they do that. And then they don't even like try to protect her at all from the aftermath of when they're showing her like that and how they exactly. do that. Because unfortunately, as a queen of color, we don't have the same uh, yeah. way. You don't have the same um, opportunity to be the villain without people turning it into something ugly. Exactly. And, and that's what's been happening with Organza because she's been getting a lot of hate online over stupid stuff she don't have to like everybody i'm sorry she don't like your fave but she don't have to like them she don't have to be nice to people that's not 
nobody has to be nice to anybody, but for people to turn it into something ugly and racist over a television show because you don't like that's, that, yeah. that's that's when it gets ridiculous. And it's like, she don't like your fave. I'm sorry, but you got to call her out of her name and, the, and a gross name at that. Yeah, we need to do better, people. We need to not do that. We need but... to not. We need to do better. Period. Yeah. yeah. So, moving forward, we go back mm-hmm. into the workroom the next day. Everyone's there. Bacina is like, where's my badge? I want a badge. Greg. Greg. It felt like, honestly, it's very interesting because we got a very, we got two very similar storylines from both Germany and Brazil this week. Mm. A queen who hasn't won a challenge yet at top six in the same workroom (laughs) is like, I want to win. And in one case, maybe they got a win. We'll talk about that. And in another case, maybe they didn't get a win. Oh. Go watch our review from yesterday. Spoiler oh. for Lana, because she hasn't watched Germany yet. Sorry. Uh, um, <laughs> like, who didn't get a badge? <laughs> well, at least you don't know, so it's great. <laughs> I'm, thinking, I'm, thinking, I'm like, mm-hmm. oh, oh, now there's, there. Well, there's two of them, so. Oh, okay, so between those two. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Sure. Um, but Bettina's like, where's my badge? I want one. My nipples are cold. I was like, I <laughs> love her. Love she's Bettina. Stupid. She's stupid. Love Bettina. She's oh, I've loved her from the start. She is Team Logan, period. Mm-hmm. I love it. Mm-hmm. Um, but yes, Greg comes in. Looking like Greg. Looking like Greg. Greg is so gorgeous. handsome. Gorgeous. Beautiful. All of the adjectives that you could say about Greg is beautiful. Despite our criticisms last week, everyone, we do like Greg Queen, okay? I never not liked Greg Queen. <laughs> exactly. But despite the criticisms that David or, uh, David and I may or may not have made last week, we do enjoy Greg. <laughs> At least I do. Yeah, I can't um, speak for David, but I... Because I... David doesn't. But... Yeah. And you know what? That's his right. He has yeah, the he opinion. Right. He has right to he has the right to his opinion. For sure. Because it's people who I might not like that you like. And it might be people you might like, like Logan, that I like. So who knows? Who yes. cares? We are entitled who to cares? our opinion. Yes, we're entitled to our own opinions. Exactly. And I have um, like Greg. I always like Greg. I think Greg is I do I think Greg has some growing up to do into as far as hosting abilities? Sure. I agree with that. I agree. I think she could. And I think this is the first season. Like I was going to say, it's a season, season one. We have to remember. like Everybody has to grow into their hosting abilities. I think for the time yeah. being, I think for what she could, was able to do right now, her, her learning curve, she's doing okay. I like yeah. Greg. But. I definitely think she is... Um. Yeah, I definitely think she is. You know, she's doing well enough for a season one. Right. Not the worst host on a season one. Not the best. Okay. But RuPaul wasn't the best host on season one. Oh. We see where she is now. Right. Fracking. But all right. (laughs) Yes. So we have our mini challenge. Uh, We get into very very quick drag. Five minutes. Five minutes. Uh, and we are doing a photo shoot. I love this. I did too. <laughs> it's one of my favorite mini challenges. It's not, and then people are like, "Why wow, you like just a, a a a photo shoot? They're great. They're cool." No, I Greg had so much fun with this photo shoot. It made me have fun with this photo shoot. It was so fun. They would get him up there. They would have the pit crew. Who was out there looking yummy and luscious and delicious. And they were standing in the forest with the falls behind them. And then they would start. And then Greg would stop and say, we have some interference with the mic. We'll go take the mics off. And she took the mics off. And they said, okay, let's go. And they're going and they're going. And she say, say, douche. And they're like, douche. Or what was it? Was it, um... Oh God! What was it? Shuka, 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 ah! uh, Shuka. 
I, I was doing the, the English version of Shuka. Absolutely. <laughs> but it's Shuka. And then it was there. Um, oh, gosh. You named the movie. Footloose. Uh, not, not Footloose. Um, oh, dear flash God. Flashdance moment. It was their flash flash dance, dance thank moment. you. It was so funny. Yeah. And all of it was so shocked the first time. It was like, ah! It was so good. She's like, still model. Where's your face? Where's your face? And they're like, ah, ah, ooh, ah. They said, we're going to make these girls do a pageant in like the worst quick drag ever. We're going to make, we're going to douse them in water. We're going to make them give birth to inanimate objects. <laughs> we're going to make them, I don't fucking remember. We're going to make them do puppets. Oh, God, no puppets. Uh, like the mini challenges on this season have been kind of wild. It's been wild. It's been, been kind of wild. But but yeah. for me, mm-hmm. I don't know about you, Lana, but for me, there was a very clear winner. Uh huh. Was that the person this who mini won? challenge? Yes, it was indeed, mm-hmm. and that was mm-hmm. Shannon. <laughs> that with the cool? with the wig off, she was like. <laughs> It was giving very um, Macaulay Culkin Home Alone. But look, if you take off your hat and do it, you're Shannon Scarlet. Because that's exactly what it was. <laughs> that's what it was. She had nothing. Bald head. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I, I loved it. Love it. I loved it. I thought her picture was great. But yes, Shannon Scarlett. I love saying her name the way that they do because it's just so fun to say. Shannon Scarlett. It's so <laughs> but yes, so Shannon wins the mini challenge. Mm-hmm. And did she win anything? She won 5,000 rice. Rice. I, don't know I believe is how you say. I don't know how to pronounce it, but she won $5,000. Rice. I think it's rice. Well, I will just say it in American terms because I'm American and that's all I know. And I'm a stupid American who doesn't know any other English. So, 5,000 dollars. Work. Work, Diva. Work, Diva. (laughs) And then we get our maxi challenge for the week and the girls have been anticipating it and they're waiting for it. And it's the ball! It's the ball! Period, period, period. It's the ball! Kitty, kitty, purr. I wore yellow today in honor of the ball, personally, and then Lana matched. <laughs> I copied. I copied. Yeah, a little pasted. bit. I copied and pasted. I saw it, and I was like, oop, I have to change anyway. So I, I couldn't find my it. purple hat, but I was going to wear it just to just so we could truly <gasps> be twins. Oh, I couldn't find it. You. Oh, well. So, yeah, it happens. It happens. But mm-hmm. so we have our three ball categories. We have Maracachu, the Festival de Parintins, and Bachebola, which I learned a lot about Brazilian culture in this episode. Boy, I was like, yeah, all the culture. All I love culture. It. And that sounded sarcastic, but, but it truly, wasn't. I was I was like, oh, I love this. Yeah. Oh, it's so cool. This is why I love watching international drag race franchises because I'm like, I just, what I want to do through this experience is learn about other cultures Mm -hmm. through the art of drag. And that's why I've loved Brazil so far because they've been so just like, yeah, we're Brazilian. What about it? And just so everyone has shown off just like Brazilian drag excellence. And I just, I love it. It was, it was really good. It was really good. I cannot say how much I enjoyed watching it and learning it. Yeah. It was, ugh, it was, it was good. It, it, it's been good. But they said, oh, we're going to go uh, dry off because we're still wet. Uh, and then we just go immediately into the next day in the workroom. <laughs> There's no, it's like, okay, cool. Sure. Party. But we go into the next day in the workroom. Everybody's getting ready. Uh, they're getting ready for the runway. And this is where we get uh, Organza talking about her brother and the last memory of her brother being um, 
having to do with Bachibola. Mm -hmm. um, and I, uh, this crushed me. Yeah. Yeah. Like, the fact that she was keeping it together in the workroom and then in confessional was just like very, very emotional. I was like, girl, I would have never been able to, but like props to you. And that's where I'm like, I'm glad we got this moment to contrast with, you know, her at the start of the episode being a little shady towards Dallas. I'm glad that we got both sides of, you know, Organza in this episode. Mm -hmm. um, I really enjoyed that. I did too. I was like, I, I, hearing how she's like, they, they celebrate their birthdays together all the, every year. And then this, he died when he was 10. Yeah. And he um, he passed away right after Carnival, mm -hmm. right after the Bachibola, um festivities. And she said, we didn't get to celebrate our birthdays together this year. And that was sad. And that, right in that moment, I was like, oh, I could only imagine losing someone, a sibling <sighs> that close to you. And that you just, ugh. And he was, but what crushed me the most was like, he didn't, he was born... Um, he was born with. I'm trying to figure out how, how she worded it. She he was born destined to die. He was born with a. He was born with a precondition, pre-existing condition. But she said he was born destined to die young. Yeah. Like that was the word she said. Yeah, that's what like, she said. Yeah. And I was like, oh, that crushes oh, my yeah. heart because yeah. when you know somebody is not going to live out a full term of life. Yeah to the fullest extent that they can, it's like, oh, man. Anytime a child dies, you're like, dang, that's yeah. un un they have so much life to live. They could have lived. But, yeah, that was very sad. It crushed me. But I, I agree with you. I was happy that we did see a different side of Organza than the side yeah. that they're trying to portray at the beginning of this episode. Then yeah. this epi then So people can actually see that, yeah, she might be shady sometimes, but mm -hmm. she's still a human being. She still has her own things, things going on in her life that's hurting her. So yeah. let's not just jump down her throat because you don't like something she says about somebody that happens to be your favorite. Yeah. Remember that, people. Mm -hmm. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Well, well, well Julia, mm -hmm. it's, it's time. It is time. It's a mm -hmm. small, small mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. But let's go to the runway since the entire challenge today is the ball. As it should be. <laughs> Bitch. Greg, Gr stop. Girl. Greg. 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 Baby. When she walked out, <sighs> I was like. Bitch. You are, you, I know that had to come off. She could not sit down in that. That had to come Nasty. off. Oh, of course. Just, yeah, that came up. Nasty. Nasty. Oh. oh, looks so good. One of my favorite looks from her this season. And she has. Oh, good by ones. far. Uh, I don't, has she missed on the runway? Not to me. David said something about the, the one she, he didn't like one outfit. The one that didn't have pants. To it or a bottom to it. I forgot which one it was. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I liked it. I think to me, Greg doesn't miss on the runway. To me. But ugh, so I can't remember. So mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and say that, yeah, mm -hmm. she hasn't missed. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> this is one of my favorites. I love that the wig with the feather in it yes. as well. Like that's, oh, I love that. Oh, I just absolutely love that. That was so good. And her makeup. But, Stunning. It's always good though. Stunning. It's always good. Oh. Ugh. Nasty. Nasty. Mm. <laughs> it's time for the Brazilian Festival Ball. Oh, okay. Yes. I love that this is the concept that they went with for the first ball for Brazil. I love that. Because, like we said, we those of us that are not from Brazil have never visited Brazil had an opportunity to sort of like engulf ourselves in Brazilian culture through this episode. And I, oh, it's so good. It's 
it's so I good. love this background, by the way, that you picked. It's so Thank cute. you. It's literally a Brazilian carnival uh, oh, background it's that I found. So good. Thank you. you. you I was good. like, I was like, it feels fitting today. It does. You, you did good, gal. <laughs> Go. So first category is Manacachu, oh, which you. we have learned. Mm -hmm. um, is a specific style of festival and celebration uh, specific to northeastern Brazil. Okay. Uh, with parading, big, extravagant uh, costuming, a lot of uh, fringing. Yes. We still don't we know all about it. So if people want to, you know, give us a little bit more tea in the comments, that'd be great. Sure. Um. But that's what we know about it at this moment in time. And I love I this loved category. It. I loved it. Ooh, Every, I, loved I it. think everybody ate for me, but we'll okay. We'll talk about it. Mm -hmm. So and again, before we dive into our critiques, we are not judging this based on how accurate it is nope. to the actual festival. We are judging know. it based we because we don't know. We're basing it on whether we like it or not and whether it's pretty. Exactly. <laughs> that's pretty what colors. we're doing. If I say it's pretty, then it's pretty, pretty. for me. I like pretty. for me. For me, well, and I'm gonna me. and I'm gonna go ahead and say overall, I think this ball is one of the strongest we've had in a very long time. Okay, yeah. So I, can... I thought I thought everyone, I thought everyone did well. Yeah. So yeah. it's something I and like. That's what the judges said looking. too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's something about everybody's look that I like. Like, there was yeah. nobody I was like, ah, oh, I hate the whole look. No, no. Yeah. You won't get that from me this entire time. I will say no. that now. No. First up, Bettina Polaroid. This is so dang pretty to me. Yeah. <laughs> this, this is so dang pretty to me. I love, love, absolutely love how all the colors on the top go in the same order as the colors on the pants. I I think Pacino looks amazing. I love this wig. I love the glasses. I love the colors. I love the fringe. I was like, girl, if you don't walk and shake that Fringe and, and oh, it was so good. This look when it walked out first, I was like, "Oh, this is about to be on. Oh, we're about to have a stupid runway." If this is the first look, we're about to have a sickening runway. And babe, oh, so good, so good. It's oh, I couldn't agree more. Like I, it's so good. The way this fringe is laid, like, and it goes from literally the top of her head to the bottom of her feet, like, and it all just works so perfectly. Oh, it was so good. Uh, I just noticed that the red starts and stops the entire outfit. And the, okay. we get the red, orange, and yellow in the wig, yes. and then it goes straight into the green at the top of the outfit. Like, it's... Oh, so oh, it's so good. It's so good. Oh, oh. this is, okay. Duh. Duh. I don't even have to. You know, Duh. Duh. Uh, so good. Duh. Oof. Yeah. Duh. Duh. And next up, Organza. <sighs> Again. So good. I love an oversized jacket dress. I'm a fan of them. But the way she did it with these sparkling leggings underneath it, oh, they look like they should just be pants. But it's sparkling leggings. And yeah. it's so good. Do I want it cinched in the waist? No, I it, don't care. It was, though, a little bit. There's a little, a little, bit. little bit of it. A little bit, but that, it just looks good. It looks good. I really like this look. I really like this look a lot. 
she knows how to serve a good look and that's what this is i love i love this green tinsel wig i think this is probably the more successful of the tinsel wigs if i'm being honest i agree um we'll talk about the other one mm-hmm. this is one the other one in a bit i or love two, the way actually. this yes you're correct Mm -hmm. Um, but I love the way that this, uh, blazer is constructed with all of the different colors blending into each other in this, like, beautiful, (gasps) like, fluid color blocking, just so good. And it's symmetrical, I think. It's like, there's, I think it's literally, no, it's symmetrical. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, I love it even more. Oh. I didn't realize it was completely symmetrical, but that just makes me love it even more. I love that it's just the blazer and the yeah. leggings. I love that. I love that it goes just all the way down. Oh, and her fa- her mug her looks face. amazing. Um, oh. So good. Duh. 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 Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just that's all I can say. That's about it. it. That's all I got. That's all I can say about it. Oh, yes, because I, I remembered that next up we have Helena Maldicha, also in a tinsel wig. hmm Now, I didn't hate this. I like the jacket yeah. in this. I love yeah. this jacket. This jacket is great. And I like the tinsel ponytail wig that she has. What I don't like is the bottom of that dress. Why is that red, like, tool? Like, I think she could have deal without the red tool there because the dress is pretty. The dress is pretty. I just don't like the tool there. But everything else I like. Like, her mug is always mugging and beautiful. I did like this this tinsel wig, though. It, I think Organza's was better, but I did yeah. like this one. Yeah, I agree. This wasn't my favorite look for this category or on the runway total, but I do still think it's a very solid look. I like mm-hmm. the jacket and the way that that has the sort of, like, square color blocking motif situation happening. And then you contrast that with this very vibrant, wild, fluid sort of dress underneath. I love the belt here, just breaking mm-hmm. that up a little bit and providing a little bit more visual interest. I think the the gold glitter ponytail tinsel wig is good. Um, I think it's just a little too long. Mm-hmm. Because as she was going down the runway and turning, it kind of got caught on the jacket and it got caught on other things and caught in her face. Um, but mm-hmm. I think overall, this is a really solid look mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. for sure. Mm-hmm. I'm going to give it an 83. Nine, 90. Okay. Yeah. Because I don't think anybody's look is under a 90 to me. There are a couple that are for me, but it's not. Maybe it's not much. I, I might change much. my mind when I'm saying it, but that's why I'm if, not saying any defini- anything definitive now because I'm like, uh, maybe. I think okay. I'll say this: no, nobody's look is under an eighty. This, I think this. I'm gonna agree with that. Yeah, nobody's under an eighty so, for me. Yeah, yeah. Miranda Labrau. I like the outfit. I don't like the 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 wig. That's yeah. oh, there's four tinsel wigs. Yeah. Ooh, Oof. Geez. Okay. Yeah. I don't like this wig, but mm. I do like the concept of this outfit. I don't know if I like the purple bell bottoms, how that breaks up. But you know what? No, I kind of do because it's just different color blocking. Yeah. It's the, so I don't mind it. I just I don't like the wig hat. I think it's too too big, and it just looks like a a dome. But I don't know if that's what she was going for. I, I think know. it was. I think I'm sure. I, I'm sure. Probably. Again, probably. I, we don't know the references. I but... don't know the reference, and maybe it meant something. I don't, I just particularly don't like like it. Her makeup yeah. is gorgeous, though. I love her makeup. Her makeup like is that. always good. Yeah, her makeup is always good. Always. All of these girls, good. actually, the mug is always good on all six of these girls. Yeah, for sure. But yeah, I like the outfit. I just don't like the tinsel wig. Not this one. Maybe if it was in another color, maybe. I just don't like it in this color. Maybe purple. Maybe. Sure. What I was confused by when it came to the judging uh, was when the guest judge, also named Bruna, right. uh, was like, I wanted her to do more with the with the orange piece. And I was like, she did a lot with it. What else did you, did you want her? Did you want her to set it on fire and throw jump it in the air? It? Like you want to jump rope with it? What you want to do with it? I don't know what else she was expecting, but I was like, I, I, I found that critique a little confusing. 
And she just kept harping on it. And I was like, okay, we get it. You don't like what she did with that part of the performance. Oh. Noted. Got it. Cool. Um, I think overall I like this. I do agree. There's something... I like this gold domed blunt cut tinsel hair hat wig, mm -hmm. but I don't know if I like it with this piece because I think mm. I want the jumpsuit to stand out on its own mm. as opposed to, cause then there, there's a little bit too much visual interest here. Mm. Like my eye won't, my eye isn't landing on anything and it, I, I just keep bouncing around and I want to, I want to take time to look at everything. Mm -hmm. I don't think this is bad by any means of the imagination. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I just, uh, maybe a different hair hat wig. Maybe. I'm going to give it an 80. I'll give it 83. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Shannon Scarlet. Now. This tinsel wig is not good. <laughs> the tinsel wig was falling off. Yeah, this is the week was She pushed in. it. She was walking down that runway at first, and I was like, is that just intentionally? Mm -hmm. Oh, no, she yeah. doesn't realize it. And then at some point in the runway, she was like, I'm just going to I'm gonna put my hand through my hair. Ooh, my wig is too far back. Let's just push it up. And then it <laughs> looked good. <laughs> but I am obsessed <laughs> with this look. The outfit. Oh. The way all of this, I don't, I can't tell whether it's tinsel, whether it's beaded it's yarn. fringe. Is it yarn? It's yarn. Bitch, I love it. Yeah, oh, it's it was so yarn. good. I love, I love, what I do love is I love that this, it's so busy in the pants and the jacket. Yes. And then we just have a simple glitter simple. bra yep. and a very, a, a sensible gold tinsel hair hat wig that mm -hmm. was falling off. But still, I, yeah. yeah, I really, I did enjoy this. Her ass looked uh, so good in these pants. That's why she was the uh, what, mula book. The when they when she was and she shook it at the yeah. end. I was like, yep. Oh, uh, she she looked amazing. This this outfit, I love the outfit. I didn't care for the wig, the hair hat wig, but <clears throat> other than that, this outfit was stunning. She looked yeah. amazing. The jacket, the pants. And, Oh, oh, yeah. Good. Yeah. <coughs> I. Oh no! Um, don't die! Don't die! I won't. I won't. <laughs> um, I'm gonna give Shannon an 88. Oh no, she get a 93. Work. Oh, well, sure. We don't have. Outfit, we don't have. <coughs> that, that, the outfit. The outfit made it. The outfit shot it up there for me. I can take off a few points for the hair hat wig falling off, but yeah. not that much. I didn't. I forgot that uh, David's not here to track our ball scores, so we won't know actually who our winners are. <laughs> and I'm not keeping track of them. I'm just gonna be honest and real Me right either. now. Me We're either. already a full category in. I didn't think about it. So sorry. <laughs> if y'all want to do the math in the comments, let us know. That'd be great. <laughs> but and last Naza. up is Naza. Now I like this dress because I agree one, with you. It was hand painted. It yes. looks like it, and it's. Beautiful. Yes. yes. Beautiful. I yes. don't like the wig, but I like the okay. dress. And I think I she like, looks beautiful. I like that she did something different with the wig. Because yes. honestly, until she said, oh, I'm not wearing a black wig, I honestly didn't notice mm -hmm. that she had only been wearing black wigs, really, this season. I like. I just didn't notice. Um, what I will say, and again, hi, ignorant American. I don't know the references to this specifically. What I will say is it definitely stood out mm -hmm. compared to everybody else's garments. Mm -hmm. And I don't know whether it was intentional or she just didn't have anything that really fit the, um, that fit the theme because we do hear her say on several occasions, I kind of had to make it work this week. Mm. So I don't know whether she had this just as a sort of backup thing and decided to do it and uh, have the flower in her mouth. Because I know Bacina also did it. Mm -hmm. So again, I don't know how accurate this is to the festival. But I did notice that it stood out against everything else we saw from the other five people on the runway. Mm -hmm. 
And I'm not saying that necessarily in a positive or negative way. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying I noticed it. So. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. that's, that's where I'm at with it. I'm just not, um, I'm not a hundred percent sure. Uh, what, what this means and whether it fits the thing. But regardless, I think she looks beautiful. She looks good. I like it. I think she looked great. I don't know. I would have liked the wig if it wasn't like... I don't know. I wish it was all swept behind her, maybe. I don't need like the, the yellow pieces in the front. Or if it was like a bouncier wig. I'm not sure. I think one of those two things I think I would have I'd have preferred with this. But um, I'm still going to give Naza an 80. I will get him an 80 as well. Love it. We are on to our second category, which is Festival de Parenchines, which, uh, as we have learned, um, is a, it's a uh, popular festival during uh, three days in late June held in the city of Parenchines in Amazonas. Amazonas? Again, pronunciation. I'm so sorry. Um, it is the third largest festival in Brazil. Um, and it celebrates a local legend about a resurrected ox. And where two teams kind of um, compete, attempting to outdo the other in retelling the story of this resurrected ox. Which I think is a really cool... Um, I really, I loved, I love learning about all of this. It's so yeah, cool. I I it was so cool. It was very cool. I got very, like, I didn't even have to do the research to understand. It. Got it. It's about an ox. Yes. I see that. Thank you. Right. It was uh, like, oh, it's about an ox, but what about the ox? So then I would do the research I understand and now, what it's about now. And I understand exactly. now why so many people did, like, split looks. Mm -hmm. I see it now. I get mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Um... But again, let us know in the comments if there's extended things we should know about this. We would like to. Exactly. So thank you. First up, we <laughs> Polaroid. She was on one this week. She was on one this episode. She was on one. One. Because, baby, she looks fan freaking tastic. The way she did her makeup with this all red, and she red, like, not fully red, but just red enough where you know it's red. And, uh, this outfit was stunning. It was sickening from head to toe. Like, that little slick back red wig. I am, uh, in. This was amazing. She looks so good. She was on one this week. She did not miss on this runway. She did not miss. Period. I agree completely. I love this. She came out and I was like, she looks so much like uh, Lady Gaga in the face. And I don't know what it is about the makeup that she did here that was so different, but I was like, she looks so much like Lady Gaga in the face. Especially in this top right corner picture. That's what I was looking at too. Yeah. At the bottom, I'm like, okay, I see Pacino. But something about that top when I'm like, oh, yep. I love how transformative she does she can make herself with her makeup too. Like I this was very different for her. I love this look. I love the feathers. I love that it's all monochromatic and that she's got the ox head in front of her. And using that as as the prop, I think it's all good. I love a monochromatic look. And I think this is one is incredibly successful. Um, I, it's full. It's 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 duh. For me, it's it's so yeah. overflowing. It's so yeah. overflowing for me. She, she, this is perfection. Ugh. It was her week. It was her Thank week, God. baby. It was. I her love week. it. Yeah. Next up, Organza. She is a broken down doll in the best possible way. I like this look a lot. I love her headpiece. 
uh, her heart just go all throughout the look. She looks so good. I, oh, uh, I just really like this. I really, she looks amazing. Them, them legs, them legs, ugh, stilts. Just, <sighs> that makeup. Oh, I love it. So I good. so good. And this is even really different makeup for Organza because we don't normally see her, you know, doing this sort of exaggerated contour and blush in the way that mm -hmm. she's doing it and having the red, um, the red kind of eyebrow moment mm -hmm. is really, really striking. I really enjoy this look. Um, there's a lot going on, but in a way that I do still really enjoy. I think mm -hmm. it's, I think it's a well put together look. She mm -hmm. looks good. Yeah. There's, I mean, there's really nothing else I can say about it. She just looks good. She just looks good. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to give her a 95. We'll give her a 96. Lovely. <clears throat> Helena Maldicha. I think this is one of my favorite looks from her. Oh, really? <laughs> I think this was uh, one of my favorites on the runway from her. Not for overall, oh, sure, 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 but okay. from her. Yeah, she looks really good in this, and I love her headpiece. I just really enjoy that headpiece a lot. I like this shoulder piece. Come, I think it's good. She looks good. I love the fringe, how it moves. I like the little things on the legs. I like her makeup in this. I like how they darken the makeup a lot to go with the red. It, mm -hmm. it looks it looks really good. I enjoy her this look from her. I think this was her best look on this runway. However, comma, it's still not, it, it's not my absolute favorite. I do think she looks good. I think for me, it's just, it's a little simple. Airing on the side of simple. When a lot of people went very extravagant with this category, this feels a little bit more toned back. And I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. It's just, she's going up against people that had really strong ball packages. Mm -hmm. unfortunately is kind of what it is um the cage sort of fringe situation i like it i don't know really why I'm, I'm not like obsessed with this look but i do think this was her strongest look mm -hmm. yeah, I'm, not, I'm not sure huh. i mean i'll i'm gonna give her an 88 so I give her 89. 89. Sure. <sighs> Miranda LeBrow. See, I like this look. I love this face piece. This face piece is everything. But the dress, I don't like. Oh, okay. It's the bottom half of this. Like, I love this wig. I love this face mask. I love everything else, but I don't love the dress. I don't know. I don't know. I feel yeah. like you feel about Helena's last look. Yeah. I should be obsessed with it, but I don't know. For some reason, I'm yeah. not. But I'm like, yeah, it's all interesting. Like, yeah. Interesting. Because I, I love feel like, it. I mean, I feel like she found a cute. Bull, uh, ox decorative thing and made it a face mask and it was like oh this is going to be cute and 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 interesting and intricate but then this dress is just like a it looks to me like a house dress like something I would wear around my house okay. as a, a duster something I would clean up in okay so yeah, I don't know but I don't know if it's if it's something cultural. Y'all let me know, and I'm like, well, okay. she mentioned she mentioned it was supposed to replicate. I think it was ribbons used in the festival traditionally. Okay. I think from what I remember her saying on the runway, I think it has something to do with that and where they're all very colorful. So I think in that regard, I actually really enjoy this look. I think obviously the focal point is the face piece, mm -hmm. and so I don't mind that the dress is a little bit more on the simple side. Um, I love this wig with it too. Like just having the black, big, um, mm. big teased out wig kind of lets the face piece stand out even more so. Yep. I honestly just wish it was a little bit bigger. So we got the top of the horns. 
so that all of it was just um mm. like the whole face piece was covered with it but it's mm. not that big of a critique um i why do i wish this was a jumpsuit instead I mean, I would love for it to be a jumpsuit. In the jumpsuit, but in still the same, like, vertical stripe. Mm -hmm. I think I would have really enjoyed that. Um, mm -hmm. I do like this, though. Um, I think I'm going to give Miranda a uh, 90. 82. Okay. Work. Shannon Scarlet. I like this. I do too. But it's simple. In, yeah, in the first of our completely split down yes. the middle. Yeah, it's it's on the simpler side, but I get exactly what she's portraying. Mm -hmm. I think it's good. She talked about sort of this yin-yang effect that she was trying to go for with it as well. And I do see that. Mm -hmm. I just wish... I don't know. I wish there was something... Like, because I like that she has the streamers on the on the ox head headpiece, and she's got the the heart and the star, which are clearly symbols of both sides mm -hmm. of this sort of retelling of the story. So I get all of that, and I understand that. I I just I want it to be bigger, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's more. I don't know what more I need, but I want more. That's the crazy part. Maybe I want the headpiece to be bigger. Maybe I want the, the the heart and the star to be a little bit bigger. Mm. Maybe I want her performance of it to be bigger. Maybe. I don't know. It's not bad. No. At all. No. Um. 83. 85. Yeah, I want more, but I don't know yeah. what else I want. Yeah. And then last up is Naza. I love her wig best. Yeah, it's a it's a good it's a good horn wig. I feel like because she actually did a whole a wig, a horn wig. Everybody else yeah. had a wig, a horn headpiece. I kind of this stood out for me because it was the wig was the horns instead yeah. of having to have the headpiece, and it was straight down the middle. And I like that she. Went everything down the middle, the half the heart, half the star in the middle of the outfit instead of and then the gloves whole alternating heart. as well, right? Instead of a whole heart and a whole star, like others did, she just had it straight down the middle my star and my heart. And I kind of love this, I think this is her best look on the runway. Oh, agreed, For definitely sure. her best look. She looked her makeup stunning. Love, I kind of really she ate this one down for me. I like this one. I have one critique. Okay. I wish she had taken, because I know they have white fabric in that workroom. I wish she had taken a panel of white fabric and covered half of that corset. Because oh. the, all, the all black corset throws me off completely. Oh, yeah. Because you've got the alternating wigs, the alternating sides of this jumpsuit, the alternating sides of the leg, the, the panels coming off the sides. I yeah. just wish... I wish on that left, on the left side that we're viewing. The white side. Mm -hmm. Or no, I want it on the or black, the black side. side. Okay. Because I want the jumpsuit to be the all black on the on that side. And then the glove, the train panel, and I want that corset piece to be white as well. Mm -hmm. But I love, the, I, I do love this interpretation of it. Because mm -hmm. everyone really went either one side of this mm -hmm. sort of like battle of the, of retelling the story. Um, or... They went like the sort of 50 50 mm -hmm. fluidity sort of thing, like what Shannon did. Mm -hmm. I really like that she did kind of this straight down the middle sort of interpretation, and I like it. It's just that corset is throwing me off. Mm -hmm. And so I think that because of the corset, and I, I'm honestly, I'm gonna give it an 80. Oh, I'm gonna give it a 90 actually, because I do think this was her best. and. Of course, it didn't, it didn't, I didn't even notice it, so I can't take off of something I didn't notice until you brought it up. I noticed it but, immediately, unfortunately. I was like, oh, no, everything's split in half, and then the corset is like, no. Naza, no. But I love, <laughs> and I will say for Naza, all three of these looks, such a departure from what we've seen from her mm -hmm. as far as her drag is concerned. And she even said that, and I was mm -hmm. like, I really see it. Like, I, I love that we're seeing 
different sides of your fashion. Exactly. And I am obsessed with a mm-hmm. wide-legged pantsuit. Yes. That's no, one of my oh, favorite oh my God, things. Pants. Oh my God, oh my God pants. Pants. suits. Suits. <laughs> so. And then our final category on the runway, bache bola, which is a fundamental part of uh, Carnival in Rio. Mm-hmm. Um, part of the history goes back to the early 20th century when originally Carnival in Rio was all like waltzes and it used to be this very like different sort of upper class concept and they brought in um like more of the samba aspect of everything and so a lot of uh the lower class people kind of created these clown characters um inspired by mask characters from different like european countries and different european presentations and there's obviously also the influence of african cultures because that's going to be paramount in brazilian culture just based on history alone Mm -hmm. um so that kind of influenced this whole uh the creation of these clown ball hitters is what bachimbola translates to um but yeah, I, again, culture. I love it. Love it. Love, love it. it. Ah. And first up, Bettina Polaroid. Again, like I said, she Bitch. don't miss. She ain't missed. She ain't missed at all. They, we asked for the, they, it was the clown. She she gave us the clown, baby. It, it was, she gave queer club kid bachibola is what yep. she was saying. And I mm-hmm. loved it. And all of these, all of these competing fabrics and textures mm-hmm. and colors this should, should work. not work. This oh, should this not does. work. And I love that it's this sort of, uh, it's the jumpsuit situation with the, uh, with the ruffling at the waist, the ruffling down at the, the at the pants. The wig is cool. Her makeup is still incredible. That the ruffles mask, around the neck, the ruffles oh, on the sleeve. Oh. The mask itself, mm-hmm, it's that mask, so, it's so weird in the best way. Like, oh. she really said, "I won't." Oh, y'all anything. are gonna underestimate me. Oh, y'all are gonna put me in the bottom week one. Well, guess what, diva? Guess what, honey? I'm gonna rise like a phoenix, like Conchita did. Wrong country, but I'm, I made the reference. And I'm going to have a track record of just building. And this was her week. She said, and she's peaking me. at the right time. She said, give me my goddamn pen. Give me my pen. And honestly. Deserved. Well, not even that. I think she's a contender for the crown now. Oh. I see it. I wouldn't be surprised. I see it. And I'd be happy with that. I wouldn't be surprised. At this point, I'd be happy with anybody left in the competition winning. If I'm being same, honest, same. it's uh, we're at that point, and I love it. Duh, my score is duh. Yeah, yeah. Duh. She earned every duh I gave her this episode. Every single I, one. I of only them. gave her two, but I, I gave I, her all, all of three. the all of the filled cups and overflowing. All, all, all three, baby, you got it. You got it, Miss Miss Polaroid. You that's got my it. girl. That's my you girl. got it. Ugh, love her. And next up, just as good as our guy. Oh, she ate this down fabric. Oh, this fabric is so good. Oh, Ooh. baby, I love this. I love this so much. That mask, first of all. Oh, oh, uh, uh, and then she took it off, and then that makeup. Oh. Uh. <laughs> This wig with the oh my gosh, and this fat like you said, that fabric. This fabric is fashion clown. Like this is clown couture. This is clown extravaganza, extra gala extravaganza. All of that. Like this is beautiful, and I love the pink corset that go with the pink boots. Like. It, it, if if that pink horse was just by itself, I'm like, wait, why is that there? That don't make no sense. But when she put the boots with it, I'm like, okay, got you. Accessories make sense. I love this look. 
she looked, she moved. She ate. She ate. Lay the house down with the boots. She is working the house down with the boots. Today. Working the house down with the boots. Yeah, the way I love the way that this corset bustier situation, all of the red is breaking up all of this busy fabric. I love the orange lining on this. The boot is really cool. This wig is giving Ugh. clown in the best way. The mask so perfectly fits with the fabric and with the color. Ugh. Duh. Duh. And I love I love that she was able to show this off given the story that we learned about her brother yes. and the importance of Bachibola to her. Yes. I love this. I it's love so this so much. This is so good. Oh. Yeah. Duh. You fucking honestly, Stupid. if if Bacina and Organza had won this week, I would have been so okay with I that. I would have been okay with that. I would have been so okay with that. Yep. But mm. Organza already has a couple wins. It's fine. She does. It's fine. She's <laughs> I think she's good. She's good. She maybe would have wanted another win, but sure, of course. Who doesn't? We saw. We saw how everyone reacted to Bacina. Everybody was very happy for her. Thrilled for Bacina. The same way they were thrilled for Mar for Miranda last week. Yes, so. exactly. And nope, she's not next. No. Damn, I was like, oh, that would have no. been the perfect segue. But no. it's Helena Maldicha. I love this wig, though. I think the wig is great. The wig is great. I think that's what made the outfit. Because yeah, I, that I didn't like the outfit. I don't mind the outfit. It's just a lot of green. And the, the corset here isn't working with the... I Again, y'all can cover these corsets. Y'all can... Y there's fabric in the workroom. Y'all can cover these corsets with a different color. So that way they're not all black. I wish she had taken like a pink panel... And just take put that onto the corset. I think that would have been fine. I think it would have been lovely. You could staple it in, glue it if you have to. Like I just, I just think the black corset here is throwing it off for me again. But overall, I think the headpiece with the with the with the ball wig, I think is really cool. Mm -hmm. I like the this neon green bodysuit underneath, and I like the coat. I wish the coat wasn't lined in the same green fabric. I think that's ultimately what's throwing it off for me. And if it had maybe been lined in like a black or a white even, mm. I think, and I understand why it was the green, because the whole motif is supposed to be pink and green. But I just, I wish there was a little bit of something else to break up from this green, because it's a lot of green, and then it's a lot of pink and white stripe. Mm-hmm. And for me, it just it doesn't all go together in the way that I want it to. But I do still enjoy this. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to give her an 80. I was going to give her an 80 as well. Like I said, I don't think anyone's going under an 80. Nobody's going under an 80. I can no. guarantee that. No. Next up, Menanda LeBrow. This was good. This was good. This was good. This fabric is wild and crazy, but good. Like, even the little part in the middle, that yellow, like, why is that there? But I kind of love it being there because it goes with the yellow in her hair and then the yellow that's in that wig. It's I kind of really like this. I love the stockings and how they're two different stockings with two different fabrics. I'm LeBrow. Uh, as, as as Greg said, uh, Miranda the Clown. Miranda the Clown. I loved that. It was great. She looks great. I loved the, her interpretation. She didn't have a mask as she was. She was like, "I'm doing the silhouette thing." I I loved it. I I I love this look. Yeah, I think this is one of my favorite things on the runway. Period. Um, I love that you know we're giving so many different fabrics, but all of it is is based in this hot pink and that's the story and i love that we have all of the the two different uh patterns in the legging and then the different pattern in the um in the in the dress itself this like rectangular blue and pink and yellow that makes up the most of the mm -hmm. the dress i love this fabric it's so it's so interesting i hope she made that textile herself because I feel oh. like that's something she would do is make textiles like that. Um, and I love that it's broken up in the top part of this skirt with this pink panel and then the yellow going over it. And then all of that is reflected in the wig and the sort of like 
curly, the curly mm -hmm. wig reflecting the curliness in the in the skirt. And it's all coming back to the wig and it's all coming back to the color scheme in the mask. It's good. It's real good. It's good. It's full. It's a 97 for me. Fair. And the way she did her makeup here too uh, is oh, yeah. so good. So good. Baby. This this, this was my, my favorite, favorite look of the runway. Thing. This is my yeah, favorite is my look favorite. of the night. Shannon did that. Shannon did that. Uh everything about this look was great. Yeah. Every, I I don't, too. It just screamed as it just gave us all the Brazilian culture in a look. <sighs> everything you wanted from Brazilian culture was in this look. And I loved every second of it. She looks stunning. Her makeup is great. The hair is great. The things in her hair is great. It it this print, this fabric, this jacket, this skirt, everything about this is perfection. I I have nothing but yeah, duh, I, wanna, duh, 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 duh. I, I, wanna, I love I love that this is so this is so bachabola and yet it's still so Shannon. Mm -hmm. I love these braids. Mm -hmm. This co this color of this like beautiful like dark caramel of the the that color of the braids just accents her her beautiful skin tone so well, and I love that we're seeing enough skin. We're getting shoulder, we're getting a little bit of stomach, and then everything else is covered. I I love that. I love that the wig is then reflected, like the the color pattern in the wig is then reflected in the accessories that she has, and then in the umbrella. The this. Uh, this the art the pure art on this garment is so mm -hmm. incredible like oh it just this came out my jaw dropped and my yeah. jaw was on the ground for most of these looks honestly mm -hmm. like i'm saying i knew that the brazilian ball was going to be good they blew my expectations out of the water mm. this is one of the best balls we've seen maybe ever i'm gonna Ooh. go ahead and say maybe ever it's so good. Ah. Oh. You don't even have to oh. ask that right now. I'm gonna duh. Yep. Yeah. 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 Shannon, you fucking better. Yeah. She ate oh. that up. She she laid the house down with the boots. And I'm glad she had this as her last look mm -hmm. because it's not that her first two looks were bad. They just were okay. But this, this kind of set it off into yep. that safe spot that she was yep. in. Yep. So I think going into that last round, the last category, it was very close in that middle section. And this really brought her up um, to the spot that she ended up landing in. So I was I was thrilled for this for her so good and her makeup here Ugh. her in a dark lip i love she does Ugh. she does Ooh, it's, it, she i think it's a signature of hers. i like it and last up is naza oh i like this jacket and that's it yeah it's that's it's unfortunate it. because this is where I was like, when she said, oh, I kind of had to make this whole thing work. I was like, I can oh, tell. Yeah. I do. Here's here's what I will say. I like this feathered wig. Mm -hmm. Or the feathered headpiece. Because it's the orange wig with this like green feathery mm -hmm. thing mm -hmm. on it. I think that looks fine. Mm -hmm. I love her makeup here. And an mm -hmm. orange lip on Nasa looks very good. Mm -hmm. I really, I really enjoyed that. I like the top, and I uh, the le it's just an orange legging. It's, it's orange really what legging. it is. But the jacket is obviously the star of, of the look. Mm -hmm. I wish it was lined. Oh, it doesn't look like a lined jacket. That threw me off a little bit too. If it had, if it was lined in in a in that lime green or orange, take Helena. No, take Helena's lime green lining oh. <laughs> and just put it on Naza's jacket instead, and take this white lining and put it on. <laughs> Put it on Helena. It's honestly what I want. Um, but I love the big sort of exaggerated lapel. Mm -hmm. The fact that this goes to the floor, big sleeves. The the arch on the jacket itself is gorgeous. 
it just it didn't unfortunately all come together. But I do still think Nasa did a good job. That's the frustrating part. I mean, she tried to sell it. She did her best she could to yeah. sell it. But the jacket is the star, and and once yeah. she opened it, I was like, oh, yeah, well, all right. I am still gonna give her an eighty. Well, she's gonna say eighty for sure. I think I gave all of her looks an eighty. <laughs> I think I might have. Maybe. But that's that's that. Look at us. Look at us getting through it in now. Oh, yeah. I know. Uh, I'm proud of us. We did Me that. too. So we get our runway critiques. We, nothing much really happens backstage in the Untucked while they're doing all the things. Yeah. yeah. But... We, we come back on to the stage and we find out, of course, that Bacina finally wins her first challenge. Ooh. Lana's so happy her computer's falling Computer over. Her. Yeah, I'm so very excited for her. Thrilled. She's been one of my favorites from the start. I'm so happy for her. It was well deserved, too. It was very well, well deserved. deserved. It wasn't like sometimes it's like, oh, they just wanted everybody to get a room badge. So they, they gave her one. No, she earned this one. It was yeah. very well deserved. Yeah. And literally, her track record bottom to low, safe, 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 high win. Mm. Wow. Yeah. Wild. Wild. And speaking of someone who's won a lot and been high a lot, Organza. Still has never been below safe. Will that continue? Who knows? We shall see. But I do think she came in a very, very respectable second place in this yes. challenge. Yes. Shannon is then called mm -hmm. safe, which I do agree with. Mm -hmm. I don't know mathematically what my scores look like, but I do think, based on my impression of mm -hmm. everything, I, do, I, I, but, and I also did like Miranda's package as a whole. Mm hmm. For me, this ball really came down to two people that did exceptionally well. Yep. In Bacina and Organza. Two people that did really yeah. great. Good. Yeah, really, in really good. Shannon and Miranda. And two people that still did really good. Just in, not as good. Yeah. In yeah. our bottom two, which is Helena and Naza, which I did I did agree with. Yeah, I did too. I was like, And we're at the we're at the point where it's just like, I don't want to see anyone go home though. Yeah. But, but it made sense. It yeah. made sense. Helena's first time in the bottom. Naza's second. Second? Yeah. I or think. Third. Second or third? I'm checking. Second. Okay. Her track record is really interesting. Mm -hmm. Safe, safe, win, safe, bottom, safe. Well, mm -hmm. bottom. Eliminated. Eliminated. <laughs> but, um,. We get our lip sync between Helena and Naza to Dois tra Trabajos. Sorry, pronunciation. By Donuts. Mm -hmm. This was great. This is a really good lip sync. This was great. Was one, of, one of the best lip syncs this season, I would say. It was really good. I was like, oh, okay. I enjoy. I like. I yeah, like. I think... I think ultimately, like I do, I do think the right person won, yeah. just because what Helena did. I loved seeing Helena perform because we we hadn't we seen, haven't it. seen it, right? And I thought the she has this beautiful fluidity to the way that she performs. Yeah, that I figured she would have because that's kind of what we've gotten from her performance abilities thus far on the season. Mm -hmm. um, but I think I think there's this beautiful elegance and fluidity and grace to the way that she lip syncs but still giving like what the song needed mm -hmm. I think Naza did really well I enjoy Naza as a performer uh -huh. it's just performer. you know it got to the point where and we see this a lot and we saw we've seen this over the last couple of weeks in Drag Race as a whole one person is doing really well the other person thinks they need to catch up so they start reacting to what the other person was mm -hmm. doing mm -hmm. and so when Helena went to do a stunt Naza mm -hmm went down for a split and it was one of the crunchier splits I've seen. Right. Recently. Right. Yeah. It wasn't it was like she was doing things like she tried to do the cartwheel there was little legs bent like I want to see a the cartwheel cartwheel. wasn't all that bad, but I do agree with you. Legs bent. I like a straight leg yeah. cartwheel, and it was like it was not fluid. It was like oh okay. All right. Yeah. It was yeah but 
I still it just like felt how like, Nasa yeah. performs. I always liked how she performs because she's a great performer. Yeah. I just feel like when she doesn't have to perform against somebody, she cannot focus on what they're doing and focus on what she's doing. Yeah. Yeah, I I do agree. It felt like she was kind of a step behind Helena the entire thing. Mm. But the right person, in our opinion, does win the lip sync. Yeah. And we have to say goodbye to Nas. I'm sad about that. I'm really sad about it. I really, really have enjoyed Naza this season. Me I too. really have enjoyed Naza. She's but and she's young and she can grow and she can turn into this amazing queen. I mean she's already fantastic right now. Remember the looks that we saw from her in the Instagram yep. review, Lana? Yep. Like yep. that. Yep. Give give her a couple years she and do amazing things. Naza, I if you're listening, Naza, hi Naza. We love you, first and foremost. Uh second of all, I hope you are fluent in English. Cause I mm-hmm. think I think give her give her a little bit more time to cook. Let her cook. Let her cook. And I think she dominates an all-star season. Mm-hmm. She's got that performance ability. She's got the ability to serve look. I think she just needs a little bit more experience in drag. If she cook, if she cooks a little bit more, you think uh global all-star potentially season? or if she if- can speak English. If she if she can speak English, I think there's definitely a potential where she could be on one of these global things. Or if not, mm-hmm. we're pro- we with the quality that this season has brought, we're gonna get all stars. Three or four years, I was gonna say Brazil All Stars. I could see yeah, it. I could see it. I would support that for sure. Mm-hmm. So, for sure. but Naza has been eliminated. Ah, <sighs> sad. I don't even remember what next week's challenge is. It's a stand-up comedy. Just like Germany. That's so weird. It's stand-up comedy. Yep. Oh. I'm so not looking sit, forward to, to it. Through, we have to sit through two episodes of stand-up comedy back-to-back next week. And... Oh, I'm not looking forward to it. I'm going to be honest with you. This cast has been funny, though. Some. Some of them. I'm I'm worried for a few people. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm worried for Shannon. For I'm worried for a few people. I'm not going to name I'm, names. I'm just saying I'm worried for a few of them. I'm That's not I'm worried. Well, I'll say I'm not worried about a couple of them as well. Mm-hmm. But see, even that makes me worried. The ones who we say I'm not worried for usually ends up there and does not deliver. So I'm not going to say no names who I'm worried for, who I'm not. I'm just saying I don't know how much I'm looking forward to it, but I'm going to watch it anyway. <laughs> oh, I, I mean, we're going to be here watching. Yeah, so. yeah, for sure. Well, before we go, an interesting draft update. Let's just say that. So, at this point in the season, the way points have stacked up, it is looking, and I haven't done the full math, but it is looking as though there is already a winner Mm -hmm. of our draft. Yep. And it's me. So, the way way things sit currently... Eve is now out of the draft with La- with Naza being eliminated. Eve is out of the draft, ending with 37 points, which is great. Cool. Still great. Uh, David is currently in third, also with 37 points. Mm-hmm. Uh, Lana, you're sitting in second with 39. Okay. And I'm still currently sitting at 68.5 points. Yeah. So... I think we're going to maybe call it. And in that Um, case. Congratulations, Logan. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. But we already know one of the girls is not winning. And I don't think your other two girls are winning. Which is crazy. It's kind of the wild thing. I don't think I have the winner. No. We know at least one of them for sure. If you know, we, you know. Yeah, yeah, if you know, you know. One of them may have mysteriously disappeared off of social media. 
and may or may not be back in Colombia <laughs> in the same set. Maybe. So potentially. Potentially. So, um, but yeah. So congratulations to you. I think this is my first draft win. I'll take it. You know what? If there's gonna be a season where I win. I'm glad that it's this season, and I'm glad that there's three people I really enjoy. And you know what's crazy? Hmm. This is the second time one of us have won a draft and not had the winning person on their team. Well, we don't know that to be sure yet. I'm just saying. I'm just kind of I Because I do also agree with you, Lana, now that we're in top five. I do think it's either going to be Helena or Gonzo. Hmm. I definitely think that is the direction. But it could be, we could be very surprised. So I'm not. It could be, think. it could be Shannon. It, it could, could be, be Miranda. It could be Bettina. Be and at this point, genuinely, All any of them could win. And mm -hmm. I would, I would cheer so loudly. Mm -hmm. And I really don't know who's going to win. I and I, I, I enjoy that a lot. I'm very intrigued by the fact that we're going into a drag race finale here in a couple of weeks and I have no clue who's going to win. Yeah. And everyone's so neck and neck that it's like, I love how competitive this season has been. And I'm, I'm, I'm a big fan. Love it. I'm already excited for season two. Love it. Please let it be when there are less drag race active franchises. Okay. Thank you. But with all that being said, thank you for joining us for our review of Drag Race Brazil episode 8 will be back next week. Same time, same place. Probably different panel in some capacity. To talk about episode 9. In the meantime, uh, make sure uh, if you are not already subscribed. First of all, you made it an hour and 22 minutes into the video. How are you not subscribed? Go do it. It's free. It's literally free. It takes uh, a second of your time. Bing. Truly. And it would take another second to like the video. And it would take yeah. another second after that. To share it with someone. Um, and if you want to follow us on socials as well, make sure to follow us at The Cut Pod on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. You can also go follow myself and Lana as well while you're down in the description. And also, if you scroll a little bit further down, you could also go to our merch link where you could get such merch, including but not limited to our cut mug. Um, and with all that being said, cheers, Lana. Cheers, Logan. Woo! Bye. Ciao. Adios. That's Spanish. I know. I was giving all the things. Great. Lovely. Goodbye. See ya.